Okay, so let's have a quick look at the question. We have a Carnot heat engine and it has a thermal efficiency of 55%. The waste heat from the engine is rejected to a nearby lake at 15 degrees Celsius at a rate of 800 kilojoules per minute. We are to determine the power output of the engine and the temperature of the source. Okay, so, boom, back here. Cool. So, the idea of this, this guy, it, it changes slightly, but it's in the foundation of it, it's the same as what we've been doing before, right? It's like as if we had a state one over here, then state two over there, and then we're going from one to the other, and that's giving us sort of output, all right? But before, we only had the two states, so our output would be work and heat. Now, the only change is that the heat, instead of going down here nowhere, we did not really know to the surroundings or something, the heat's actually being transferred to the sink, that's the idea of the sink. The sink is the thing that's going to take away that heat that's being rejected. Okay, so on the let's do part A. Uh, on part A, we have the heat rejected has been given to us, right? And we have the heat rejected of this system, which is 800 kilojoules per minute. And I'm going to go ahead and convert that into seconds because I know that one minute has 60 seconds. And then I'll have my nice SI unit, which is 13. 33 and goes on kilojoules per second. Okay, so that's the amount of heat rejected. Now we have the efficiency of this engine, and the efficiency, the thermal efficiency is 55 percent. 55%, 55%. And so we can use that to calculate what's the actual energy that's being outputted here, right? There's a couple ways for us to do it. Really the same way, but there's two ways to think of it. We can think that the the efficiency is just the output over the input, okay? And the input in this case is how much energy is available. So we can think of it this as how much did we get out of how much was available? Uh, energy. Available. Okay, and then if we think about it, well, we don't have the energy, the enthalpy of this state, the energy of this state like before, but we do know we're going from a higher state here to a lower state here. And then because we know the first law, whatever is leaving the system has to correspond to this difference here, right? We know that delta U has to be equal to Q plus work. So we can find this change of energy here because it's equal to this, right? Whatever the change of energy from going from the source to the sink has to be equal to the output. And this output in this case, I'm gonna have useful work over here. So this is power, so this is network. And then on the bottom, I'm gonna have the actual work that we have plus whatever was not useful, whatever has been rejected. Okay, and then since we have this guy and we have this guy, we can calculate this guy, right? So in other words, 0.55 equals how much work was made out of this, work net, and then this guy is 13.33. Okay, and then we can rearrange this. I'm going to grab that. This guy is 0.55 divided by 0.45 times 13.33. And that uh, this is 16.3 kilowatts, same unit as this guy here, right? So kilojoules per second or kilowatts. So that's the amount of energy we can get out of this heat engine. Now there's another way to do it and the other way is just to think of it in terms of proportion because think about it. If we know that 55% it's efficient, it's the efficiency of this engine, it means that this is going to be the work that's output, right? And then whatever is the rest, that is a 45% has to be what was not useful. So that's going to be our Q and that's 13.33. So if you do it in terms of proportion, you're actually doing the same thing. It's 55 times this divided by 45. So it's literally the same thing, but we're just doing it in terms of proportion here, right? And then this is going to spit out obviously the same 16.3 kilowatts. So that is part A. Now, part B. Is asking us read off. 
what is the temperature of the source? Well, it's straightforward, right? If we know the thermal efficiency is related to the temperature of the sink, the temperature of the source, then that means that 0.55 has to be equal to one minus what is our uh, sink 15 Celsius? So it's 15 plus 273 in Kelvin, right? Divided by the temperature of the source in Kelvin. Okay, and then we rearrange this guy and we grab the temperature of the source with this problem here. That's to be 640 Kelvin, okay? Which is about 300 and something Celsius. Um, so what are we saying? We're saying that for this heat engine here, at a rate of at an at efficiency of 55%, for it to output 16.3 kilowatts, this source here has to be at uh, 640 Kelvin or 360-ish Celsius, right? That's pretty much it for this question. I don't think you guys had any troubles. Uh, any questions on this one?